The Caribbean island of Puerto Rico is an unincorporated territory or commonwealth of the United States. This basically means its status is somewhere between being a state and being an independent nation. Puerto Ricans are citizens of the United States, but if they live on the island of Puerto Rico, they can't vote in U.S. federal elections. To better understand the current status of Puerto Rico, we need to look back through centuries of history. Puerto Rico's native population is called Taino, and their hunter-gatherer ancestors settled the island, calling it Boricuan, 1,000 years before the Spanish arrived. Native people called themselves Boricua, which is a phrase still used today. In 1493, Christopher Columbus's second voyage led him to the island, and he claimed it for Spain. Then, in 1508, Ponce de Leon founded the first European settlement, Capara, on the island's northern shore. In 1521, Capara was renamed Puerto Rico, meaning rich coast, which then became the name for the whole island. The capital became San Juan, which is still the capital today. For nearly 400 years under Spanish rule, Puerto Rico would produce cattle, sugarcane, coffee, and tobacco. To cultivate these commodities, the Spanish brought enslaved Africans and forced them to work under brutal conditions. But Spanish rule of the island eventually came to an end. In 1898, the USA was victorious in the four-month Spanish-American War. Spain ceded Puerto Rico, Cuba, the Philippines, and Guam, which all became U.S. territories. Under U.S. rule, Puerto Rico continued its plantation economy, with sugar being the main crop. But the economy faced changes in 1920, when in the wake of World War I, the Jones Act made goods expensive to transport to and from Puerto Rico, which made prices generally higher on the island. In the 1940s, the U.S. began Operation Bootstrap, a series of economic initiatives to industrialize Puerto Rico's economy. The initiatives were successful, cheap labor and tax laws attracted American manufacturers. Today, Puerto Rico is a leading producer of high-tech equipment and American pharmaceuticals. Puerto Rico underwent many political changes as well. In 1900, the Four Acre Act required all U.S. laws apply to Puerto Rico and also established a civilian government. The President of the United States appointed a governor and executive council, and citizens of Puerto Rico were able to elect 35 members of its own House of Representatives, as well as one member of Congress. That member, however, does not have the right to vote on the federal laws governing the island. Puerto Rico officially became a commonwealth in 1948, and ever since, the future of Puerto Rico's status has been up for debate. Should it stay a commonwealth, become an American state, or become an independent nation? Three separate votes to answer that question have happened on the island in 1967, 1993, and 1998, and they all reaffirmed Puerto Rico's Commonwealth status.